Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Siriana Tarot. This is going to be an energy check-in, a love reading for my dearest Aries. Aries, we're going to take a look at the person most on your mind or your current situation. All right, let's go ahead and jump into this. Oh, so we get the Ace of Pentacles in reverse and the Hanged Man. So, wow, some of you dealing with a Pisces. Some of you, either you or them, feel as if there's been a missed opportunity, but you're seeing the situation differently. Maybe that it's not a missed opportunity, or maybe there's a missed opportunity that's leading you to something better, okay? So, let's see, Aries, interesting messages there. Overall energy, we've got the Seven of Cups in reverse, so definitely seeing something differently. Cutting through illusion, fears, maybe you were really wondering about your person or they've been wondering about you, but it's like they're seeing clearly now or you are. They're in the, uh, what they're thinking or feeling, the Three of Cups in reverse. So there's a disappointment, a heartache, a sadness. Um, this could indicate that there's sort of like a lot of gossip or sort of whispers around your connection. Um, maybe there are a lot of people involved. You know, it's possible there was some sort of third party interference, but we have the seven of cups and the three of cups here, which tells me that this was a connection that made or makes you very happy or them, but they're disappointed. I almost feel like they're disappointed in their own actions because they're seeing very clearly that they made a bad decision here. They're viewing you as the five of cups in reverse. So all cups energy, you guys. So you could be dealing with a Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, or maybe you have that in their chart, in your chart, or they do. But with the five of cups in reverse, Aries, they see you as healing and moving on. Maybe shifting your focus away from what happened here, okay? Um, but it can also be, you know, Aries, if you guys were the ones that were really disappointed in this person and maybe somebody had options or there was some sort of interference, you may be also getting over that disappointment. So we'll see what you don't see coming. The four of pentacles in reverse. Somebody here is letting go. Now it could be letting go of options. It could be letting go of another situation. It could be letting go of heartache, sadness, loss, whatever it is, but it feels like this person's letting go of something to come towards you. But we get the final outcome advice energy, the king of pentacles in reverse. So there's still a lack of stability here. Um, now, third party energy can really be anything. It can be a romantic rival or a few of them, options. Um, it can be distance if you guys, if this is like an online connection or they live in another city, state or country. Um, it can also be work, you know, it could be that this person, like somebody who's really focused on their, their coin, their finances. We see the King of Wands in reverse. Somebody here, I do feel had options, maybe wanted to explore those options. Um, you know, and it could be you Aries. I mean, it could be the fact that, you know, if this person wasn't giving you what you wanted or you needed, or you didn't feel like you could trust them or they were investing in this connection, you may have switched your focus. All right. So we get the two of wands making a decision to heal and to move forward. So somebody here has made a powerful decision and they're feeling quite restless about either reaching out or just speaking their peace, speaking their truth. You know, maybe some of my Aries, this is somebody you've been dealing with, waiting for for a long time. And it's kind of like you've decided to move on or to move forward. Um, they're not liking that one bit, all right? And if this person chose somebody else over you or had options or wanted to keep their options open, I don't think they're happy with their decision, okay? So we get, yeah, Ace of Wands, Rejection. And the Six of Wands, so that your person is somebody who likes to get a lot of attention. And I think your person does get a lot of attention from other people, and that may have been something that was bothering you, Aries. And I feel like some of you, you rejected them, or they're worried about rejection, or that you don't feel the same way about them as you once did. Because you're shifting your focus, you're healing. I think, Aries, you set strong boundaries, or you stopped paying attention to this person. Yep, look at that Ten of Swords in reverse. And, you know, you may have been hung up on this person. They may have known that or they thought that because, again, strong ego energy with your person. Um, they're used to winning. They're used to getting a lot of attention. And it feels like you're not paying attention to them anymore. You may have started dating other people. You may have let go of this connection completely. Maybe you just don't reach out anymore. You're not putting in the work. You're healing. You're like, mm, yeah, I'm kind of just going to do my own thing. King of Cups, they see you as emotionally closed off to them. 
Now, Aries, some of you guys, I have to straight up say you have been or you were dealing with somebody who's a narcissist, okay? And you needed to, you're healing and you're moving on and spirit saying, absolutely, continue on that path. But for some of you guys, this person, I just feel like they they put you in a third party situation or they kept their options open. They wanted their cake and to eat it too. It's like you're seeing things clearly or you did, or, you know, maybe you guys weren't even in a committed relationship and you were just like, yeah, nah, I don't, I'm not going to compete. I am not going to compete. And so you pulled yourself out. And I like that energy because, you know, you set strong boundaries and this triggered something within this person, some sort of, and they don't like being rejected. They're also seeing you differently. And I feel like they really do want to come back in. They want your attention. And for a lot of you, they do want to heal it, heal things. But if this person was in and out of your life or you found out they had other options, I see you guys closing off, healing, taking your energy, moving in a different direction. <clears throat> and a lot of my Aries, you guys are kind of like, you know, I'm not going to jump into anything else right now either. Like, I just want to heal. I just want to do me. I just want, you know, to hold out for the one. So some of you guys, yeah, wow. Wow. Some of you guys, I feel like you may have blocked this person. Aries, I think you probably were really straight up with this person about how you felt. You may have just, you. I feel like you guys go, like, it's not like you ghosted. I feel like you just, you shut, you shut them down. Like you either found out they were dealing with other people, you gave them an ultimatum, you somehow, there was some sort of like brutal rejection that they experienced from you is what I'm getting. And now I feel like they, they didn't want to look at their accountability for this or how their actions sort of led to this outcome. And I feel like this person, they're looking at the things they did or said or didn't do or didn't say and how they didn't show up for you with the six of pentacles and they're feeling left out in the cold. And I think they want to, they do want to sort of change their ways, but I'm still getting a lot of like minor arcana. So I kind of feel like Aries for a lot of you, I'm not so sure what this person's deal is, right? Like you want safety, security, and stability with a relationship, somebody you can trust. And we've got the King of Wands and the King of Pentacles, both in reverse, that, you know, this may be somebody who's still in player mode or hasn't quite evolved to your level yet. And we get the Magician, Trickery, Manipulation, Three of Pentacles. So I do feel that Aries, a lot of you guys, this person, they do want to win you back or they just really don't like the fact that you're ignoring them or that you've moved on or you've healed. So remember, this could be somebody in your past, okay? Like you might not even realize this. Um, they definitely feel rejected. I think they're also a little bit worried that you're not as attracted to them anymore, but I feel like that's because you found out that they just weren't that they were playing you or they thought they, they thought they could. I really feel like you, you made a head over heart decision and you cut this person off Aries. They are going to come back in and try to work things out. But with the magician in reverse, I still get an energy of manipulation. So it's like to trust your intuition. I don't feel like this person has changed page of pentacles. They're nervous to approach you. And that's with good reason, Aries, because I think that you, probably are going to shut this person down or reject them. They're worried about it, but their ego isn't allowing them to completely shut this down. Okay. Or walk away from it. So I do feel this is somebody who is quite persistent. I also think this is somebody who may have hurt you. Um, you know, because I am getting the four of swords in reverse takes us to the three of swords. They made a decision. They chose somebody else, or they just decided they wanted to stay single or keep their options open Aries. And I think that was really hurtful for you. Five of cups, but you also shifted your focus. And I feel like you're really, really focused on self-love. This person seeing that glow up, they're also feeling you pulling your energy away from them. So, oh, that's not actually what I want to use. I want to pull these cards, advice cards for my dear Aries, please. Advice cards for Aries regarding this person, this connection. As far as signs go, I mean, there's a lot of water energy that could be you or them having Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. We also get Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, another fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag. 
Okay, cheer up, live in the moment. So Spirit's telling you, Aries, I think you've done, I feel like this, you've been in a dark energy ever since this breakup or this betrayal um, or finding out the truth about this person. I also think this is the energy they're in. But I'm seeing you with the King of Cups in reverse. They're, you know, this is your energy. Like you're not giving, you're not offering them your emotions anymore. You're not offering them their this cup of love. Ten of Swords, because there was a betrayal, something hurt you, but you've healed, you've purged and released it. And memories, cherished memories of loved ones. This person's very nostalgic. I think you have good feelings when you think about this person. They're like, you don't totally hate this person or I don't feel like you do anymore. You know, there may have been a, a moment where you were really angry with them because it feels like there was a deep betrayal here. Um, but I, I feel like you are just really focused on up leveling and that's what spirit's telling you to do. Um, release the resentment, forgive yourself, forgive this person so that you can move forward. I feel like you are the better person here and we get confrontation, pick your battles wisely because I do think this person, when they do come back in and they are going to come back in, that they're going to, there's going to be, there's going to be stuff that triggers you. And a lot of you, it's like this person might blame you for the things that they did, like that kind of energy. And I just see that you're not having it. So I do feel like you're going to stand your ground. I think this person should be worried about rejection because I see a lot of my Aries um, not taking this person back. Now, the three of pentacles indicates you could work with this person. Maybe you used to, or you see them at school, at the gym. You might run into them like at Home Depot, getting groceries, something like that. But the magician in reverse tells me not everything is what it seems. So trust your intuition. The three of pentacles tells me that if you absolutely want to work things out here, Aries, it's on the table. But I do feel very strongly that spirit's telling you that you've healed, you've shifted your focus, you're moving forward and to really fight for that. Okay. To not backslide, not allow yourself get pulled into a situation that's triggering or where you're not being valued. Okay. So this person they see you as their paradise. They're heavily in their memories. Um, Seven of Cups in reverse takes us back to the Six of Cups. They're they're realizing what they lost or what they sabotaged. Yeah, and they're they're worried it's over. Okay, endings bring new beginnings. I see a new beginning for love on the horizon with you. It may be with somebody at work or at school, like I said. Um, I don't think this person likes it at all, okay? Coffee cup, so meeting and conversing. So I do feel this person's gonna call you up. They wanna take you out on a date. Some of you guys, you are starting to open yourself up to other possibilities. You might've even started dating somebody new. Um, I feel like, um, I feel like you took a long time to heal from this connection. This person, they are going to try to come in and talk to you about things. Um, and we get Phoenix, there's a rekindling. Okay. Like they are going to try to come in and rekindle, but Aries, a lot of you guys, you have healed and you've moved forward. And I do see you being pulled in a few different directions. So again, it's going to be up to you if this person has transformed, not rushing into things, making sure they back up their words with actions. But what I see with this Phoenix, this is your energy, Aries. You guys have healed and you're ready for a new phase. You're ready for a new type of person, a new type of relationship. You've grown, you've transformed. I think you've also changed your mind about this person. Before, I think you would have done anything um, to get their attention, to be with them, to fix this relationship. Um, I'm even getting, there was maybe even like moments where you were jealous, like where you would have, you know, you would have really fought to maintain this relationship, but I think you're seeing them differently and you're healing from heartbreak. You're free from a toxic relationship. And it may have been, you know, this may have been a very on and off thing. So Aries, for, for most of you who are resonating with this connection, I feel like Spirit's telling you there's new love. And some of you, you may have already started dating somebody new or there's somebody in your energy that you're kind of flirting with or talking to. And that's like, they're showing me that's like helping you sort of really put the nail in this coffin with this person. But they're restless. Like this person, I don't think they ever thought that you would leave them or you would stop putting the work in. So, and they're not going to make it easy letting go of you. Okay. So I don't believe that anybody feels the way I do about you now. 
Oasis. So these are these lovely little Lunar Lyrics cards I got on Etsy. So I think this person, I don't believe that anybody feels the way I do about you now. Yeah, I kind of feel like this person, they've got a really big ego. Like, and if you've started dating somebody else or you're talking to somebody else, like they're kind of like, nah, like I'm, you know, Aries will take me back or, you know, I'm, I'm the best Aries ever had. That's what I'm hearing from this person. It's really wild. But I also feel this person's not bossing up, stepping up to offer you any sort of commitment or stability. Like, I feel like they're still going to be in and out of your life. All right. And I and with this confrontation energy, you guys, yeah, release the power of fear. Okay. So we're seeing like, and I feel like there's a lot of fear that comes up or you were really worried about losing this person up until the point that you lost them or they lost you. And so I do feel like you have to confront some fears because um, I feel like there's like, there's, there's, there's something that they're going to say or do that's going to be really triggering. Um, and I see opportunity knocks go for it. So I feel like this is a new opportunity that's going to bring you good fortune, Aries. Okay. I really do. I feel like, yeah, and we get potential as well. Look at this. Um, think big for your future. I think this person, like they're either small minded or they keep you small. And then spirit's telling you to take a leap of faith to go for it. You want peace. I don't feel like you get peace with this person. I just think they need to grow up. They need to evolve. They like getting attention. I, there was something I, they're showing me, um, something I think I saw on either Instagram or TikTok. And it was a woman who's like beautifully dressed. And she says, like, ignore or, or ignore or ghost a girl and she'll chase you ignore or ghost a woman and she'll replace you and so again that's not gender specific but the difference is somebody who's more evolved more mature isn't going to chase and I feel like that's the point that's where you've gotten like you're not going to chase this person you're not going to enter into drama with this person again you're going to replace them you're going to go for somebody who's going to offer you what you want and what you need they say we're young and we don't know. We won't find out until we grow. Sunny and share. There you go. That message I was just getting. Like so, I think that you were you were when you were dealing with this person, they had you really sort of imbalanced, um, and you grew and you evolved. And I don't see you taking this person back. So we get the Beatles. Your final message here from these lunar lyrics cards. Picture yourself in a boat on a river with tangerine trees and marmalade skies. Somebody calls you. You answer quite slowly. A girl with kaleidoscope eyes. So I feel like this is that new person or it's like daring to dream that relationships don't have to be this way. Okay, because I'm just getting like such toxicity off of this person, Aries. Like in such a big way. And if you're hesitant... You, I think you just trust your intuition. That's all I'm going to say. And I do feel that a lot of you have somebody new, somebody adequate, somebody who's matching your energy, already in your energy. You might already be dating this person um, or somebody coming towards you soon. Like, I feel this was toxic. All right. So new love. Yep. There we go. New love. This person wants a recommitment, but you're going for the new Aries. That's what I'm getting. And past life love. Your soul remembers this intense connection. This person's going to also try to play on what you guys have been through, um, your memories. And they're, I feel like they're going to keep doing the same things, but you've evolved past them. So go slow, take time to get to know each other. So whatever it is that you decide to do here, Aries, make sure you put a lot of thought into it. It's an important decision. But I also feel this this relationship, this person, is has taught you to go slow with people. And I think that's this like new energy that I kind of feel like you, you might be friends with somebody. I'm getting this energy of you either being coworkers or friends or seeing somebody and like having like a little bit of banter, a little bit of flirting between you guys. You're not like jumping into anything because you have been doing a lot of healing work, but I do feel that it's time for you to move forward. Get ready for positive change, Aries. Yep. I just big message here is like, it's time to go for the new absolutely all right you guys i'm gonna leave it here if these messages resonate i'm gonna ask that you like share and subscribe also check out the description box for ways you can get a private reading or if you like the cards i'm using um you can also follow me on tiktok and instagram all that info is down below sending you guys love and light take care